Hi and welcome to this DCP Web GIMP 2.10 tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll use the gimmick plugin to create a cartoon style image from a photograph. So let's open up this folder and we have the original image here. So this is what the original image looks like and after we apply the filter we can get a sort of style like this where the colours are popping a bit more and it's more like a painting sort of you can almost think of it almost like a cartoon sort of painting sort of style image. So that's the original one and this is what we hope to achieve at the end. So let's go ahead and download that particular image. So I'm going to delete these two images, we don't need them. And we'll go to our web browser and we'll download this image here. I'll put a link to this image in the YouTube description. So we'll click download free. And if you're not already installed the gimmick plugin for GIMP, or you don't have the latest version of GIMP installed, I'll put some links in the YouTube description showing you how to download the latest version of GIMP and how to also install the gimmick plugin that we're going to be using today. So let's close this down and let's go ahead and open up GIMP software. And the first thing I'll do is drag and drop the picture into GIMP and click convert. So we've got the image in here and I'm just going to duplicate the layer. So I'll click on this little option down here, create a duplicate layer. So we've got two copies of the same image. We'll click on the to top image here, the top one, and um, we will go to filter and the gimmick plugin here. Like I said, I'll show, I'll put a link in the YouTube description showing you how to install this plugin. So we'll click on it and we'll get all these options down the side here. There's the hundreds and hundreds of different things you can do in this. So we're going to go through some different tutorials uh, of how to do different uh, effects using this particular plugin. So we'll click on artistic here in the drop down menu and we'll click on cartoon. And you can middle mouse click and just drag across to see the image a bit clearer. So I like to see the face more so I can see what it's going to look like once I'm done. And I don't like the default settings, so I'm going to change them. I'm going to set the smoothness to 7. I'm going to set the sharpness to 150. The edge threshold I'm going to leave at 20, the edge thickness I'm going to set to 1, and then the color strength I'm going to set to 2, not 3, let's set it to 2, 2, not 3, 2. Okay, and the color uh, quantization, the color quantization I'm going to set to 100. So we'll let that finish and then the preview type um, you can set this to another option so you can set it to something like forward vertical for example and then it will do it almost like a side by side shot so here you can see the original image and here you can see the new updated version of it because it's zoomed in quite closely it doesn't look quite right but when we finish running the filter I'm going to select four here so once we finish uh, applying this filter it will look a lot better right so let's just set it back to full so we can see the full image. And all I'm going to do is click apply. And this takes quite a bit of time to process. Okay, so the plugin's finished doing the uh, update here. So we can just go ahead and click OK. And now we can see really what it looks like uh, within GIMP itself. We can hide that layer and see the original one behind it. That's why we duplicated it so we can easily see the two different layers. So we should really export this as a JPEG file. Let's go to file, save as first. We save it as a GIMP file, so let's just call this, I'm just going to call it cartoon01. We'll save that. And then let's go to file, export as. And uh, we will export it as a JPEG file. We'll just put a dash 01 at the end. Let's export that. Okay. Let's close down GIMP. So in the folder, now we have the two different images. And this could have been a photograph of yourself, could have been a photograph of an event that you did with some people inside. It doesn't have to be a person, it can be an animal, it could be anything you want it to be, right? And you can create this sort of effect out of it, which I think looks pretty cool. It's a bit different. And I quite like um, how the bricks behind look like they're still normal bricks. But the woman in front has got quite a lot of contrast and I like how the flowers come out in this uh, example. You can see there's much more colour in them, right? So, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. That's the end of this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.